Full detection is a feature that a lot of smartwatches have now and it's pretty simple to implement. All it needs is an accelerometer that is then trained on predetermined data of what kind of motions the body goes through when falling and then it's able to detect where a fall has occurred. However, if you're looking to get a Fitbit that has this feature, well, you'll be disappointed to find out that no Fitbits so far actually have full detection in them. Even though they are equipped with accelerometers, Google has not integrated any proper full detection in them, which is a bit of a shame, given how they're a pretty good companion when you're out and about exercising, and if something would happen to you while you are on your daily jog, well, unfortunately, your Fitbit won't be able to catch that in a way like most other smartwatches will be able to. Not even the most high-end, flagship and most expensive Fitbit models have this feature. Instead, you're gonna have to go for Google's Pixel offerings instead, like the main Google Pixel Watch, Pixel Watch 2, or the latest and most expensive Pixel Watch 3 instead, given how they all have full detection in them as standard. If you're looking for full detection outside of the Google ecosystem, all Apple Watches starting with Series 4 have full detection, and they can also be found on the Samsung Galaxy Watch side as well. Plus, many other companies now also include full detection in the watch, given how, again, all it needs is an accelerometer and some full data to know what to look out for. And given how Fitbits are pretty entry-level models and Google obviously don't want to make the series too similar, odds are we won't be seeing that feature come to Fitbit anytime soon, even though it would make a lot of sense for the kind of device it is. So, at the end of the day, if you do want full detection, you are going to have to look elsewhere than a Fitbit. So, hopefully that answered all your questions about the full detection, or rather the lack thereof, on Google's Fitbits. So if you found this video helpful, maybe subscribe to Health to Authority for more like this in the future.